So this is my do-it-yourself projector mount. I bought a UHD 65, very nice projector, and they send you a free mount, and it's kind of a POS. Um, the UHD kind of has to be mounted to the ceiling upside down because it will only uh, vertical shift um, up. So if you put it right side up, you'd have to have it below the screen, um, which is pretty tough. So you have to turn it upside down, put it on the ceiling, hang it from the ceiling, and make sure that the ceiling mount is higher than the screen. That way you can shift the image down. So the mount that they send you is kind of a pile of crap. Um, I mounted mine to one of my floor joists and I mean, it hangs it just fine. It's just not very sturdy. So when it comes time to, you know, make adjustments or whatever, um, you kind of have to push the projector past, you know, where it would be good because it kind of springs back. It's flimsy. Um, I'll show you what that one looks like here in a little bit. So I decided to make my own projector mount. Um, this is the, the base that I made. And this will go on the ceiling like this so it'll face down and it will screw uh, to the ceiling and the back of it will be up against the wall so I took some angle and I cut the angle long enough so that it would reach three joists so when I mount it There'll be one joist here, one joist here, and then one joist there, both front and back. So that way it's got six attachment points. And then I took some uh, kind of U-channel looking stuff. If you can see that. Took some U-channel and... I put these holes in the U-channel exactly where the holes are in the top of the projector. So the projector is going to hang down in the middle right here. And it's got, you know, a mounting hole here and a mounting hole there and one there and one there. So then I made these little guys and these are going to sit on top of the projector like this. And the two holes that I have in the center here and here mount to the top of the projector. And these bigger holes at the end are going to hang down from here. So you can see that those holes line up. So I kind of made like a cradle for the projector and it will hang underneath, you know, that mount. Um, I'm gonna use some uh, big bolts to run down through that channel to suspend these after I get them attached to the projector. I kind of slotted these holes so that you could move one side or another back and forth a little bit in case when you're trying to set up your projector, it's not exactly centered with the screen. So in case I have to turn it just a little bit. So we'll go downstairs, I'll mount this to the ceiling and then I'll show you kind of what it looks like from there. So. So here you can see the stock projector mount. It would sit, you know, just like this. And uh, it's just flimsy as all hell. I mean, it does a real good job of supporting the weight, but you know, the mechanism that they have for uh, getting it, you know, pointed directly at your screen is just flimsy. So anytime somebody would walk upstairs, you know, it would sit there and shake on the screen. So this little deal right here went up and attached to that. And then the projector, of course, hung down from it. Um, I think it was plenty secure as far as supporting the weight. I wasn't ever concerned about it falling. It's just the fact that because it had so much shake in it, it was, uh, or because it was so weak, it would shake rather. 
So, so here's the U channel or C channel, whatever you want to call it, that I showed you outside. I've got it now mounted up. And what will happen is after I get the this piece mounted to the ceiling, um, bolts will hang down through these holes right here. It's upside down right now, obviously. So the bolts are going to stick through these holes and they'll come down and go through here and then there'll be a nut on the bottom and a washer and with that nut I can independently you know raise all four corners to get everything perfectly should it need alignment horizontally I've got these channels cut in here um, I cut them a little big that way the bolt can move just a little bit as it hangs through there these are half inch bolts, four inch long. Um, the nice thing about them is, is that if you buy the right kind of channel, you don't need anything on the top because they fit in there perfectly. So this is how it'll look when it's hanging from the ceiling. And then I can just put my nuts on the bottom. Um, I plan to put one right here um, to keep this tight against the piece that's on the ceiling. So again, this isn't going to go through here like this. I'm just using it, using it as an example. It'll actually go up through here. So I'll get this mounted on the ceiling and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's what it looks like mounted. You can see I got three joists up there. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier with the half-inch bolts is stick them through the C channel and they will be locked in there. So it's like they're slotted in there. Um, but yeah, you can see I got into the joist there. Um, even after I just had two screws in this thing, it was so sturdy, it's not even funny. So um, I think it'll be just fine. So what I'm gonna do now is thread one of these onto each bolt. And the purpose of that is to, I'm going to run it clear up to the top so that when I get this where I want it, I'll tighten it down um, to keep it, you know, still. Then I'll run another bolt up and put a washer underneath it like this. So that will clamp down on the top of the C channel that I've got on the top of the projector. And then obviously I'll have one nut underneath to hold it all up. So I will get all that mounted and then I'll show you what it looks like and we'll try and adjust it. All right, so I got these attached. Um, like I said, this top one is going to hold this tight as soon as I get it where it wants so that the bolt can't move around like that. This one is just gonna rest on top of the bracket uh, that I have holding the projector. And then there'll be one um, underneath to support the weight. So I'll use the one underneath to raise it, lower it, get it exactly where I want. I'll lock it down with this and then the same thing here. The nice thing about this is the reason I designed it this way is because you can just turn the bolts on the bottom to make your adjustments. So you should be able to just turn it a little bit and you know, you'll be able to adjust where it's throwing the picture at any given time. So that was kind of the, the plan behind it. Um, and then this is what I was talking about where you can shift it up to a half an inch so this will give you, you know, some left and right for your uh, projector as well. You can also see I did a little touch-up paint, so I'm not in trouble when Mama gets home. All right, so here's what she looks like mounted up there. You can see that the uh, worked out pretty good. You might bring a, a big friend with you to help you hold that up there while you're putting it on. But anyhow, so we can raise and lower, you know, each corner independently by just screwing our bolt up and down. So it should work pretty well. I'm gonna get her dialed in and then we'll check and see. Well, here it is all set up. I got it dialed in. Um, 
The one thing I would probably change on the mount is uh, to make these slots a little bigger so it can rotate more. Um, I got it to work just fine. I will say it's not as easy as I thought it might be to get it set up, but once you get it set up, um, it doesn't move. <laughs> I mean, the thing is sturdy, so I don't think that anybody walking around upstairs or anything like that's gonna cause me problems, so. But I gotta focus perfectly. Fills up the entire screen. I usually run it over the edge just a little bit. So that way in movies you don't see uh, any blank spots. But yeah, works very, very well. So the um, main reason I made this video was just because I could not find one on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter um, about designing a projector mount. The one that this came with that they gave you for free was a pile of crap. Um, and so I wanted to order one, but I've got such low clearance up there um, because of my shelf and my other stuff that I needed to make one that was pretty uh, mounted pretty high. Um, and then I also like the idea of being able to adjust it, you know, with bolts or screws or something as opposed to trying to move it and then tightening something down. Um, this one, you know, you just kind of adjust the bolts on the bottom until it's lined up and then you just tight down the, the set nut, if you want to call it that, the nut on the top with the washer and it locks it in place. So probably took me 10, 15 minutes, I suppose, to to get it all aligned and focused and everything, but it should never move now. Um, so should do pretty well. Uh, sorry about the poor quality of the video, but uh, I'm not making videos to make money. I just wanted to put it out there in case somebody else could benefit from it. So hopefully it helps you out. Cheers.